PHP mails. Now, in PHP, we are having methods to send emails. We can send either HTML emails or we can send plain text emails or we can send emails with attachments. So here are bit uh, settings that we can do in order to send the emails. First of all, for Windows, if you see PHP INI file, let me show you PHP INI file. This is the PHP INI file. Here, let's find SMTP. So, here you can see mail function. Under the mail function, this SMTP is given. It is by default localhost. So, we can change it to SMTP server that we are going to use to send emails because emails are basically sent through a particular server. Usually, we should use our own server to send emails because otherwise the mail will not be recognized and they will go to spam. See, so, in order to avoid emails to go to spam, we should provide an authorized email server, STM, ST, SMTP server that is going to send the emails. Second thing, we have to provide send mail from. From which email ID we want the mail should go. When mail will arrive to a particular person, in the from tag, he will see this particular email ID. So, this setting you can see in PHP and I, here SMTP you can see, then here you can see send mail from. Postmaster at the rate localhost is the default value. You can change the value from which you want user to see that mail is arrived. These are the settings in PHP and I regarding emails in Windows platform. Now, let's see for Unix or Linux, here apart from these two values, we are having a third value in PHP and I, third setting, that is send mail underscore path. This is the path through which your mail will go. So, here you can see this setting. Send mail path is by default, this is the path from which the mail will go. So, we can change this path as per our server settings and as per our requirements. So, this is the email configuration on PHP for Windows and for Linux servers. Now, here is a PHP function. Basically, PHP uses mail function to send emails. And this mail function accepts five parameters. I have told you already that function accepts parameters. So, this is a inbuilt PHP function, mail function, that accepts five parameters. And in these parameters, two subject and message are mandatory, but headers and parameter can be optional. You might or might not pass it. So, let me tell you one more thing. Declaring a argument as optional. So, here instead of passing value, this is again an optional, optional argument, argument 2 that I have given by default value. Now, instead of giving a particular value, you can also pass two quotes, like simply means it's a blank value. So, if now you don't pass second parameter's value, its value will be blank. So, again, this is called optional parameter. And same way here, headers and parameters are optional parameter. If you don't pass them, there will be no effect on the function. They will run as per the first three arguments. So, let's continue how to send the plain email first. Let's go through each statement, then I will show you the practically how we will implement it. Here you can see to is basically an email address to which we want to send email. Subject would be the subject line that we want to have. Then here is the message message body, basically that message that we want to send to a particular person, to the person that whose email ID is in 2. Then we are having some headers defined in PHP. These headers basically tell us that what the ongoing script is going to do, what, how, what kind of data it is going to pass that the interpreter has to handle. So here is the header 
that will give that will send the sender email address that from which email we are getting the email apart from this we can also have header like reply to means if you reply to a particular email then to which email that reply to should go so I will let you know in practical example regarding that reply to next here is the result is basically a variable in which we are going to store value of mail means it will return boolean value either true or false mail will return either true or false based on whether the mail has been success, sent successfully or it is just failed so based on this result we will see if mail have been sent then we will simply print mail sent successfully otherwise we will write mail could not be sent so let's see this practically so let's uh, have a new function I will write function send email so here again I'm going to pass arguments dollar two dollar from dollar subject dollar message and we can have head dollar header let's have this much right now so here I'm going to write down dollar two no that would be from outside so here what we are going to do first of all let's go outside the function we'll define dollar two equal to for example ABC at the ABC at the rate sum domain dot com now from for example x y z at the rate sum domain dot com then we will be having subject this is test subject now we will be having message for now we are keeping it a plain text message this is my first PHP text email now we will be having header and now in this header we can have let's keep it in double quote from so here we will write dollar from that we have given and we will end it with backslash r backslash n this simply means the next line now we will continue our header now if you remember in last class I have told you this concatenation assignment operator this simply means I'm going to going to add further text to my header so here I can have reply to means to which email it can be different or like mnt at the rate some domain dot com now based on these values we will simply do a flag flag value mail sent in which we will call the mail function and we will pass the required arguments first will be dollar two then it would be subject then it would be our message 
then it would be header. So what we will do, we will simply return flag mail sent from here. So we can write down it on the top. Or seems fine. So here I'm going to call the send mail function and I'm going to pass these values dollar two dollar from dollar subject dollar message and dollar header. So instead of returning, we can write down the value based on what we get. If is equal to true, then we will write print email sent successfully. Otherwise, we will print email sending failed. So now let's see what happens. So it says email sent successfully. So this way email will be sent. So this is the way to send text emails. I think it is clear to everybody. If you are having any query, you can ask. Or shall we move ahead? Which text you are asking? Yeah, what's which text you are asking? Okay, text is this message. This would be the message this would be the body. This message would be the body. That message you want to send. This is the text. And this is the subject line. This is the from email. This is the to email. These are the headers that are mandatory headers that we have to send in order to send the email. So these headers are basically the information regarding form and reply to. If you do the reply to that particular email that you get, so this reply to email address will be used. What's if is it fine? And everybody else? Yes, because email server is doing its job. It is processing it. It is sending the emails. Now it's up to the mail server that will receive because further they will fail. This true is returned by our local mail server. That's why it returned true. But later on that will fail when it will go to that mail server because it will not find that email server. From our system it is done because my settings settings on my system to send emails are correct. So that's why we are getting true here. Is it clear Sumajit? Okay. Okay, let's move ahead. This is how to send the plain text email. So this subject, this message is plain text. Simple text we have written, plain text we have written. So this is the way to send plain text emails. So now, here we can see the example that mail sent successfully message were printed. So receiver of our email we have defined who will receive the email in two. Now, in order to send email to multiple people, we can simply do here that into instead of the single email, I will write comma separated. At the rate some domain dot com. So like doing this comma separated thing, we can send email to multiple people.
So here you can see in two I have written recipient one, recipient one, recipient two, recipient three, multi multiple recipients we can assign. So they will get the same email. Now let's move ahead to sending HTML. Till now we have seen sending text emails, normal text emails, plain text emails. Now here you can see if I write down my subject line as that, I have given bold text. So this is a HTML tag. If we simply write down instead of here, we simply write down bold. So this simply doesn't send the text uh, HTML mail it will simply print the same message. It will send the same message with bold tags, B tags. So in order to send HTML interpreted, means we get we want that our HTML gets interpreted before it is sent. And here as we have given B tags, so this particular text should be sent as bold rather than this B tag appended to this text. So for that we use MI MI MIME type, that is, that is called mail extension type, which is basically the content type and character set that is going to be processed by this email. We simply have to test the email server that by this MIME version and content type and character set, the server will recognize that this particular email is having HTML content. So next page I will let you know how we will change. So here you can see this is my message that is now containing HTML, H1 tag. So here is the header form information as in the previous email. Here you can see MIME version 1.0. So this is the MIME latest version. Next we are providing content type is equal to text HTML. So this content type lets the server know that now we are going to send text mixed with HTML. 